Oh my gosh, stuff is happening. Woo! Hey, Bee Butts, I'm back, and today, thanks to all of your suggestions, I'm going to be checking out the new Shopkins Little Secrets, and these are the party pop-ups. I'm pretty excited about these. I actually didn't know they existed until a bunch of you guys recommended them to me. I was really stoked to discover that they uh, are real <laughs> and something that I could actually purchase. Today, we are going to be looking at the Peacock Gala, the Bubbling Beauty Day Spa, and the Princess Hair Salon. I picked all of these up for $14.99 each. That is a Canadian price, but I believe they're $9.99 in the States. So yeah, there's so much pink here, it's hurting my eyes. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Peacock Gala because, uh, well, yeah, there's a lot of pink here. That's pretty much my only answer. These are for ages five and up. Every package will contain one playset, a teeny mini shoppy, and a tiny mini shopkin. And this time we're invited. They are all different party type themes. And here is the back. It's party time in Shopville. Use your secret invitation to open your lock and reveal a tiny world of surprises. Pop in, explore, and find secrets to adore. Ooh, party pop-ups. That's not their theme song, but didn't that seem like it would work? And then on the bottom, it just shows us how to actually open the secret lock. You're gonna open your envelope, match the secret clues, and then use that to open the combination. Seems simple enough, let's do it. Oh, wait, I almost missed it. There's also an opportunity to get special finishes again, which I got last time, so maybe we'll be lucky and get it again today. Unless it's glitter, then they can totally just have that. I don't care. This is too cute, I'm just saying. Here's our lock. It's like pink on pink on pink. Oh, it's so cute. And I have a pearly pink handle. Maybe it's like pearly themed. Does that sound like a thing? Focus. All right, I'm uh, back in my reviewing zone. So I have the, which one is this again? This is the Peacock Gala. She looks like she's ready for a masquerade ball. Uh, makes sense. It's called the Peacock Gala. This is a square locket. No, not a locket, way too big. This is the square pocket. No, <laughs> words, what am I talking about? This is a square playset, and they have kind of hidden the clue there. I'm not gonna cheat. I want to open my invitation, but you can't see her now. See how that's bothering me? Guys, I'm invited. Okay, just me. No one else. How do you open it? Do you just rip it? Oh, you unfold it. Okay. Oh my gosh, stuff is happening. Woo! Find these Shopkins in your invitation to open your secret lock. Okay, so that one is right there, and it's a little burst of something. And then that one is right there, and it's a firework. And then that one is over here, and it's a musical note. I can do that. Like this. Ah! And then this is our checklist. I don't want to see this yet. The next time you see this, it's going to be open. I forgot what it said, though. <laughs> I'm not going to look. I'm just going to try to remember. Okay, that one, that one, and nope, that wasn't it. I lied. The next time you see this, I'm still going to be turning the combination. There we go. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, I think it's fuzzy. Is that a thing? Does that mean it's a, a special finish? <gasps> Hold on, I'll be right back, I need to inspect. Okay, no, I won't look because that would be cheating and then you don't find out what I find out when I find it out. See, I'm fair. Okay, there is a sparkly pair of eyeglasses here, like masquerade type, and behind that is our shoppy, which I'll look at in a minute. This is so pretty. <gasps> so it's fuzzy up here, there's a staircase, and then, what? <gasps> the chandelier flips into a thing, and then a thing. Oh, we need a closer look, hold on. This is literally super, super pretty and delicate. I feel like if a little girl was given the opportunity to say what she wanted inside of this playset, this would have been it. Grand staircases, glitter, pearly colors, costumes, cake, it's all here, right in there. I'm gonna start on the top, but I'm gonna warn you that since there's so much pink and they're all in varying colors, it's hard to focus it properly. All these dark ones look great and it looks like this is blurry, but it's actually just really, really light. On the top, we have some fuzzy draping. It's a light, light purplish pink. It's very, very pretty. Then it kind Kinda looks like we've got some pearly bunny ears over here. And then a flip out masquerade mask in hot pink with embedded silver glitter. Behind that, there's a big sticker that shows off doors, more drapes, and a starry sky with a pink window. Then we've got this staircase headed downward and it is very, very pale pink with silver glitter and diamond posts on the end of the banisters. They are also fuzzy. The walls are light pink and fuzzy. Now we'll move on to down here, which is a little harder to see. We have another pink window and this time we can see some bushes and more of that starry sky. Pink drapes here, teal and white cake with a mask on top. It looks like this one. And then this beautiful chandelier. It's got like gems dripping down and stuff and they use some silver glitter to make it seem super extra fancy. 
But the best part is that it actually flips out. Ta-da! Now that this is down, it reveals a bare space for the dolls to stand or look out over this really pretty pearly balcony. And you can see more chandeliers and such hanging in the background. It makes it seem like it's going in. It adds depth. Now we'll move down to the bottom. It's a little harder to show these off, or at least this one playset, because there's so much pink. It's making it tricky for me. It looks like there's a little pink table here with some DJ stuff on it. We've got a table filled with desserts and snacks and a cake, which turns. So it's actually spinning this dance floor over here. And we've got space for two dolls and a Shopkin. Whee! It's pearly pink and glittery, but it's not coming off. Then just over here, we've got a white couch with some bright pink pillows, a spot for a Shopkin, and a spot for a doll. And over here, we can flip this up to make a nice little backdrop, I'm assuming, for maybe some photo stuff. There's a spot for a Shopkin there and a spot for two Shoppy dolls. I feel like that has to be a photo booth spot because realistically, it's a masquerade ball for peacocks. Maybe not peacocks, but that's what it said. Let's get our doll and pop her in there. Here's our super teeny doll. Her name is Chandelia. She's got some bright pink shoes, white tights, and a light pink dress. She kind of looks like a PJ Mask character. We'll call her Peacock Girl. She's got a mask on with pink feathers on top. Her hair is in two buns. It's very, very pale pink. It looks almost white. And then behind her, she's got some peacock feathers. She is totally ready to party. This is Mia. She is a super teeny Shopkin. She kind of looks like bat wings. Her eyes are very tightly closed shut, and uh, she looks like she does not want to be worn. True story. It actually kind of looks terrifying from the back, but it actually looks like it might fit on a Shopee. No! It actually might look like it stays in my hands. Let's see if it will fit. Obviously there's feet in the way, but I'm going to try it anyway. In a very creepy way, that works. Let's put them into the playset. Now we can go there. This one doesn't have a hole in the bottom, so I can't actually put it on the little Shopkin spot. And it looks too big to actually go in the spots reserved for the dolls, so this one's kind of just going to stand wherever I put it. Like that. Whee! Whee! Round and around and around she goes. I feel like that's my go-to spinning song. Round and around and around she goes. Oh no! <gasps> Mia, no! Go back on. Do 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 do. I'm a shoppy. Do 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 do. I'm a shoppy. I'm a shoppy. Do 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 do. Should I wear my friend up on my face? No, that would be too weird. <laughs> and she keeps falling. What shall we do now? Let's go up here, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, blah 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 words. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Shandalia. Wee! No, she's not ready. Hold on, do it again. <laughs> oh, that's not exactly hiding her, is it? Put her down there and pretend she's taking photos. See, she's happy over there. It's kind of, oh, it's kind of awful that there's nowhere for this one to fit securely without just dropping off of everything. Let's put that over there. Oh, see? Come on now. Put that over there and check our list. We did, of course, get the Peacock Gala with Chandelia and Mia. Which tiny Shopkin did you get? Considering there was only one here, I'm pretty sure that's the one we got, so I'm not exactly sure why that one's written there. It's on all of them, but this one literally has only one option. Just saying. We also had the opportunity to get a regular or a special, and since mine is fuzzy, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we must have gotten a special one because I've never had anything fuzzy before. So, woo! That's exciting. Let's open up the next one. Which one should I do? Any, mini, miny? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm a grown up, okay? I can make decisions. We're gonna go with pink. No, blue. Haha, <laughs> see? Grown up. Oh, that could have been a lot smoother. Oh, she's a mermaid! Checklist. How cute is that? This one is a circle-shaped lock. She looks so cute. This is purple. I think this part is always purple, or at least on these three. And we have a pearly purple actual locky majigger. Yes. Let's read our invitation. Okay, that part's still the same. I wonder if the pop-up part is always the same too. No, this one's different. It's all under the sea-ish. Ooh. Okay, so we need to find those ones. Heart and seashell and a kiss. See if I remember. Oh, that's not it. Heart, seashell. Mwah. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, <gasps> it's see-through. I'm gonna take out the doll. What? No way. 
<gasps> I'm just like making so many different gasps. Le gasp! I'm gonna start with the top first. It's just so pretty. I'm having a hard time comprehending it. But uh, once again, we're gonna have a little trouble seeing all the details because it's very pale and see-through. But I'll do my best. We'll start here. There's a big pink seashell and it actually opens up and guess who's inside? It's Libby Lips. She's getting the spa treatment. She's got some cute combers on and a mud mask and she's sitting on a pearl there. The sides are see-through and very pale blue. There's some coral, some formed bubbles, starfish, shells. It's so pretty. And then there's a sticker in the back with some purple, pink, and green coral. Down here we've got a purple stool with a mermaid tail for a back and a giant pink mirror. Only the center is actually reflective. The sides are painted silver and then there's some ointment bottles of, I don't know, some kind of spa thing. To get to the bottom there's this blue slide. Whoop, falling on my hand. I'm gonna tip up the slide though so that we can focus on the rest. We've got a chair here with a bucket of water so that we can have our pedicure and such. There's a spot for a shoppies doll, a big pink shell, and when you open it up, it actually turns into a hot tub so there's formed bubbles there and a spot for the doll to stand. Down here, there's more bubbles, a little set of stairs to get up there, so cute. Two other blue chairs. I guess these are for the guests who are waiting their turn. Over here, there are three sinks, probably to get your hair done or, you know, just wash your hands. Hygiene is good. Then a cash register and a fountain, but it doesn't do anything. I thought maybe it would do something, but it does not. Or at least I don't think so. It doesn't spin or anything. <gasps> lies! It's all lies. It does do something. Haha, <laughs> Jen's a genius. It opens up to hide a shopkin. The floor has a sticker too, and it's mermaid scales, and it's actually a really pretty gradient of colors from yellow to blue to pink, and then these purple accents on the other plastic parts. That's actually super adorable. I don't think this one is a special finish unless the finish is uh, see-through and the normal one is blue. Who knows? I wish they would tell you what it's supposed to be like metallic versus fuzzy like they used to but when I checked they don't they just say regular or special so I don't know time to check out our characters where's those dolls here they are here is our teeny shoppy. Her name is Bub Lee, or is it Bub Lea? I don't know. She's so cute. Her hair is literally blue bubbles. She's got a purple shell in it too. Her makeup is really good. This is actually the best painted mini shoppy I've seen yet. I haven't really had any bad ones, but this one is like the best one I actually have seen. Oh, wait, I spoke too soon. There's a tiny little scratch there. Her face is super cute and winking at us. She's got a light, light blue clamshell top and a dark blue mermaid tail. And the fin looks like it's actually made out of bubbles. She looks like a grown up bubble guppy. Let's stick her in here somewhere. <laughs> She's under the sea. <laughs> Where's her friend? Here's her mini Shopkin pal. This is Becky Beauty Basket. She's actually really cool and see-through too. She's a very light purple with a green flower on her forehead and it looks like she's got some lotion and different beauty products sticking out of her head and she's winking at us. She actually does have a hole in her bottom though so we'll be able to stick her onto something. Was there even a spot for her in this one? Of course not. Okay then. We can put her here but hold on. There we go. Oh, don't fall down, bubbly. bubbly -a. Bubbly. I think it's bubbly. I'm just saying stuff now. Bub, bub, bub. Oh, okay, just go in the water. Get in there. There you go. Look how happy they are. I really like the color combinations in this one. I thought I really loved that last one. I mean, I still do, but I think this one's my current favorite. Obviously, we can put these characters anywhere. Like, wee down the slide. Ooh, do you think we can get her to land straight into that hole? Three, two, one. No. Try again. Three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> Wait a minute, I found a spot. Yeah, look at that, she can go up there. So yes, we can actually put these anywhere we find a space that they actually work in, like hiding our basket in there. Maybe she's a prize, boom. Let's put this to the side. She looks so happy and open up the last one. At least my decision is easier because there's only one left. This play set is kind of a heart shape. I'm saying that with a high pitched kinda because I'm not too sure, but that's what we're going with. She looks really cute on the front, like she's wearing a tiara. This one has a super bright magenta lock part. What was that? The hook part, whatever. And a light pink actual plastic casing. And I forgot to mention, forgive me, I was a little excited, that all these open just like they used to, so you can attach it to your backpack straps and stuff like that, so you can take them with you and play wherever you go, which is excellent. Where's our invitation? Open sesame, and here we go. What are those? Are they gems? You're invited. I feel like those might be gems. Let's find our clues. Star, mirror, crown. Mmm, forgot it already. Star, crown. Nope, mirror. Mirror and crown. Yeah, gen new stuff. Three, two, one. Ooh, this is very, very pink as well. Let's take out the bag first and then take a look. 
we've got a little tent type thing here. It looks like a castle and a turret. But when you open it, ta-da! A surprise chair. It actually goes up and down, which is kind of cool. It's like a little elevator getting you from this floor to this floor, but like through a wall because you're a ghost. Yes. On this level here, we've got some gold yellowish banners hanging. We've got scissors and spray bottles and upside down crowns. There's pink and purple paneled wallpaper, some magazines it looks like, and a blue cash register. And then of course there's the floor for the dolls to stand on. Then there's this purple hairbrush and it actually feels kind of cool because it feels like bristles. And if you open it up, there's Strawberry Kiss and she's getting her hair done. She's got to stay fancy. Down here we have some very dark purple vanities. There's a small one and a big one and they actually do have reflective mirrors there. Look, there's my finger. And some fake beauty products are on them. There's a spot for a doll to stand. Of course one can sit and I think that's it for up there. And down here there's a lot happening. So there's a chair here and a sink behind it. So this is where they get their hair done. There's some yellow stairs. They look like the yellow brick road. A spot for a doll to stand. A blue chair to wait at. Some beauty products on a purple table. And then this is actually really cool. They fold down so that they can store easily but they are actually whoop, hair dryer chairs. That's really neat. Put your dolls in there and get their hair done. Over here, we've got another sink with some mirrors, but these ones are not reflective. And over here, some more mirrors with more non-reflective fronts and some fake products on tables. And just like before, I don't see any spots for the Shopkin to stand on, so it'll probably fit on chairs. And the floor is pink and pink and yellow and crown and sticker. That sums it up. Perfect, time for our doll. Here's our Bubblicia. She's got blue shoes, light yellow tights, a poofy pink dress with yellow on it, pink hair, and a yellow crown. I actually have one of the other dolls from series one, but the second wave, this is Pirouetta. Is it just me or does it look like their heads have gotten smaller? Their makeup has definitely changed for the better, but they definitely look smaller now. Kind of nice. And here is the mini Shopkin. We got Royal Tea Shampoo. So it's a blue crown with something pink on top, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's dripping shampoo. And once again, it just says regular or special, but doesn't specify what the special was. So I'm thinking we just got regular. Now we gotta find a spot for these guys inside of the playset because they wanna get their hair done. We'll put Bubblicia down there, cover her up. And this Shopkin does have a hole in its bottom, but I didn't find an actual little pokey spot to put it on. So let's test it out in the elevator chair. Yeah. There we go. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Dude, where'd you go? <gasps> Don't worry, I'm still here. Wee wee. Oh, how did I not see that falling off? Let me just try that again. Don't stand on chairs. It's not safe. There you go. Wee. <laughs> wee. Just close it in there. And don't forget strawberry kisses in there too. Bye. Okay hey guys, we have checked out all three play sets and once again, as usual, I am a super fan because, well, they're cute and tiny and I love them. <laughs> I'm pretty happy that we got a funny, funny, a fuzzy finish special one in the form of this Peacock Gala. But overall, my absolute favorite is the water one because all those cool see-through bubbles and stuff just look like a fun place to go. And if I wasn't terrified of water because I'm 30 and can't swim, I would totally go there. Just saying. I don't think there's anything I would actually change about these today other than maybe just a different color because that one's a little hard on the eyes to see. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. As usual, these dolls are compatible with the last series. And if you didn't know, most of these dolls will actually fit in the old Polly Pocket compacts and the Polly Pockets, some of them if they're not too small will fit in these, so that's a bonus. If you've never played with any of these yourself, I strongly suggest you give them a try because they're super cute, but just keep them out of your mouth because they are a choking hazard. <laughs> if you know somebody who would enjoy this video, then please share it with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know down below, do you have any of these? And if you do, which one is your favorite? Or which one is your favorite that I opened today? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!